I really hope South Africa never goes to war anytime soon because we would definitely lose. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to News in 5. I'm your host Joe Minio. Thanks for tuning in. And I just want to say very quickly, thank you all so, so much for the amazing support. All of you that are members of this channel, that watch this content, share this content, like this content, all of it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so, so much. We have hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all so, so much. And I'm gonna keep the content coming. So let's get into today's story, ladies and gentlemen, and boy, is it a doozy. Exposed, South Africa Air Force in critical condition as 85% of fleet remains grounded. What? In a shocking revelation, the Minister of Defense disclosed the dire state of affairs within South African Air Force, or SAAF. A recent response to a parliamentary question by the DA Member of Parliament, Kobus, uncovered that a staggering 85% of the SAF's aircraft fleet is currently out of action, leaving the nation vulnerable to security threats. It's an absolute disgrace. Of the 388 aircraft fleet cited by by the minister, the statistics are alarming. 188 aircraft are grounded or non-serviceable. Uh, 80 are awaiting major rebuilds. Three have been discontinued due to age. 27 are awaiting repairs and six are currently undergoing repairs. The minister excluded the following further shocking stats, namely that only two of the 26 Gripen fighter aircraft and three of the 24 Hawk aircraft are available. Perhaps the most concerning figure is that 233 aircraft are grounded due to a lack of spares or budget constraints to conduct the necessary repairs. This represents more than half of the fleet, a staggering 53%. It means that in an, the unfortunate event of a national security crisis, at least half of our air force cannot be deployed to protect our country. We are and then you got the ANC saying stupid crap like this. South Africa considers humanitarian aid for the Israel-Hamas war. How exactly are you going to deliver humanitarian aid to another country that's thousands of kilometers away? Half of your aircraft fleet don't work. So the only other option is by land or sea. And by the time you get the humanitarian aids to the country that needs it, well, the war is probably going to be over. But even land or sea are not really an option when you look at these headlines. The Sandef is dying a very, very slow death. As this article states, the South African Defense Force, or Sandef, is bleeding funds with irregular expenditure and poor management taking its toll on the defense budget. Through mismanagement and budget cuts, the Sandef has been unable to upkeep critical army infrastructure and vehicles. A breakdown in overall administration has also led to certain assets going untracked, with authorities not knowing where certain movable assets or goods are located across the country. I'm going to read that again. With authorities not knowing where certain movable assets or goods are located across the country. How? Hold on, bro. How? Did they just say that they've misplaced equipment? I mean, how do you lose a tank? This article states, the latest oversight visit has confirmed a string of reports and findings around the Sandif, which showed the country's forces in disarray and disrepair. Due to budget cuts, Sandif has not been able to adequately maintain its vehicles and buildings, sometimes resorting to cannibalizing other assets to get the job done. A breakdown in administration and consequence management has led to a situation where the department can't even keep track of its assets. There's that can't keep track again. And I feel like something shady is happening, like they're selling off the stuff. This is why I kind of laugh when people are so concerned about Cape Independence. Like everyone always says like there's going to be a war or break out into a war. Oh, really? You and what army? Lest we forget when South Africa does use its army, they can't even afford to feed the soldiers. So they'll probably lose by themselves. Quite sad, really. But I really think the ANC needs to shut up, have a coke and a smile and sit the down. Don't start giving opinions and meddling in affairs you have no business in. After all, we have enough problems here in South Africa and maybe the ANC should start focusing on that. Because in South Africa, we have our own war zone and I'm not exaggerating. Becky Tilly said himself back in 2018 when there was 57 South Africans that were killed a day that it was equivalent to a war zone. 
But now, in 2023, that number has gone up according to latest crime stats and according to this article, averaging 68 murders a day in the country. Now, I ask you if back in 2018, 57 murders a day was equivalent to a war zone, then what is 68 equivalent to? And these are just the murders we know about. There are murders that happen in South Africa that we don't know about. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of the current state of Sandif? My disappointment is immeasurable. Don't forget to check out my comedy special, Crossing the Borders. It was directed by Barry Hilton. The first run of that show can be viewed on this channel for free. Link is in the description. And speaking of content, if you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy these videos. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, share the video far and wide, and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way. Once again, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to keep the content coming along. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.